Now, of course, we want to make the system work better. And in this case, that means keeping the temperature from rising to a level that has negative impacts on human well-being. So we need to figure out how to manage this system. And from a systems thinking perspective, that means we need to be looking for leverage points operating within the system. And of course, the first two leverage points are staring us right in the face. Emissions from our energy and our agricultural system are driving the accumulation of greenhouse gases. So these two factors represent a huge amount of leverage on this system. So of course, it's really obvious what we should do, right? We'll just change our diet so that we're not eating any meat, and we'll all use a lot less energy, right? Right? We'll just do that, right? Nope. Hey, are you guys still there? I just said eat less meat and uh, drive less. What's the... Right. So the problem is that just because something is in a place where a change would have a large effect on the system, it doesn't mean it's a place where it's easy to make a change. And in fact, when we approach energy usage, we see that this is the case. Changing the patterns of food consumption or energy use or transportation of people at the societal level run right up against the interests of some of society's most powerful stakeholders. Um, in global society, we're talking about agribusiness and the energy industry. And there's a lot of, lot of, lot of money at stake with these things. And it's not a whole lot better with the diffuse stakeholders called the general population, because you're up against habits that are very deeply entrenched, the way that people get around within American society is, you know, car culture. Cars are convenient. Hamburgers are delicious. And we also have all these structural problems. Okay, let's drive less. Well, we've built our cities around the idea of people transporting themselves in personal motor vehicles. And so a switch is going to be difficult because of the way we've constructed the system, because of the physical geography of cities. And we know what the leverage points are. It's just going to be really, really hard to change them. So what do we do? Do we just give up? 